Welcome to the land of liberty. Welcome to Liberia. Liberia, a country in West Africa, bordering Sierra Leone, Guinea and Ivory Coast. On the Atlantic coast, the capital city of Monrovia is home to the National Museum, with its exhibit on national culture and history. Liberia is a fascinating country. I think everyone should learn about it. So whenever you come to Liberia, make sure you visit Liberia National Museum. The history is fascinating. You would learn more about Liberia when you come to the museum, unlike what you will learn, you know, just by yourself. So make sure to be a tour guide to explain everything properly for you and uh, you get more details about it. So this is my first time visiting Liberia and I find everything fascinating. How is life here? So well, uh, managing, that's the word they use, managing. You know, Liberia has had the greatest effect that still lives today from the Save War. Mm -hmm. And then the Save War has... The Save War has... has, has brought Liberia into a whole lot of negative things that we suffer today. And, uh, I just got into Liberia National Museum and I'm here with my tour guide. Here at the Liberia National Museum, I just want to take this time to welcome you in a special way. And again, I want to say my name is Masu Dolo. Commonly in Liberia, we say Dolo, D-O-L-O, -O, is my name. Okay. And here at the National Museum, mm -hmm. we got three floors. Okay. There is the first floor, or you may call it the ground floor. We got the second floor, and then we got later on the third floor there. Here at the ground floor, you're going to be seeing traditional artifacts of our people, things that existed during the prehistory days. On the second floor, you're going to be seeing something called the history of Liberia, the founding of the Republic of Liberia, the coming of the American Liberian into our setting. Last floor is Pictoria, where you're going to be seeing pictures of Liberia from the prehistory days and mm -hmm. from the 1920s, up to 1926, up to 1944, you'll be seeing all kind of pictures there. Okay. Here at the National Museum, we got a key team, which is Wave of Time. And this is the Wave of Time, which talks about the transition of Liberia from one era to another. The building you are standing in is one of the oldest buildings in Liberia. This place was built in 1862. When it was built, it became the first post of parliament in our city. In Liberia, the word parliament is not associated with us, but we use the word parliament in order that the outside world will have a quick understanding of what we mean. But in Liberia, we say post of representatives. This is where they had it for the first time. Liberia has suffered the effect from the civil war, but then we're trying to to, to recover it. Um, as a country, I know that we are people of resilience. Yes. Yeah, so we're trying to recover it from those lost. And uh, there are a lot of the sectors of Liberia that was broken, but we are gradually trying to work on them. At least mm -hmm. that we have had a successful, peaceful nation um, since the end of the Civil War in 2003. Liberia has been a peaceful nation. Now, when there was no country existing called Liberia, there were slave masters that came down to Africa in search of slaves. And they took people from Africa. We don't know where they might, may have taken those people from. We were probably from Nigeria, maybe from Ghana, maybe from, you know, at random day, they took people from every part of Africa and they carried them into slavery. So when they are carrying you as a slave, if you are strong, congratulations, you will reach and become slave. But on your way going, if you got tired or you got sick on the way, they will kill the person. See, the picture is there. I can speak to the fact that Liberia is safe as compared to how it were before. Um, 
You know, the first aspect of security is light, electricity. Mm -hmm. uh, the government, through His Excellency President George Manuia, is trying his best to make sure that most of those areas are in central areas that will have people touring most of the time have electricity okay. and that is the one of the, the, the key start when it comes to security. And, uh, there are also security points all over that at least help to protect life and property in terms of uh, difficulties or in terms of lit hours. These Liberians are people that are very kind hearted, very hospitable and you get good reception from the, most of those places that you like to go. Resources and Liberians are people of hospitality. Uh, hello, welcome to University of Liberia, and I'm here with some of the students here, and they are going to tell me more about the university. <laughs> uh, How's your university? Our university is actually a unique university. Mm. We, here we are carrying on our normal study for now. Like for example, our president declared tuition free. Tuition free? Sure. Mm. Our president did that for us. Wow. Everything like tuition is free. We only pay registration fee. That is the only thing. That which is a, just a little amount. Mm. Cost like fifteen dollars. When you count in it, you know, US dollars. Yes. Just fifteen dollars. Wow. You pay for it. So that in the University of Liberia, the tuition is free. Is yeah. it free for foreigners as well? Uh any other student. Yes. As soon as you enter a the University of Liberia. The first thing, go and sit for your entrance. Mm. If you are successful for the entrance, there you come. Wow. You yeah. see, Liberia, Liberia is currently open to business partners mm. since um, one of our presidents, who was called William V. S. Todman, who he was also the longest serving president of Liberia from 1944 to 1971. When he took office, that was how he launched the open door policy. Okay. So since that introductions of the open door policy Liberia had been op Liberia had been open to business partners Liberia has 16 tribes and those 16 tribes are represented here by their mask and this I the Lema Gola Grebo Mandingo here the Basso the Pele the crew, TC, Tain, Mano, Gio, Bandi, Bele, Kran, Mendi, and Va. Those are the representation of the various tribes, which are 16. So those are them. Yeah, I love Lebron number one, it's my country. Two. We are friendly people. Three, we are managing everything that comes about. And how difficult it is for our country. There's no any other country that would like more than like me.
is your study here? Do you guys have this study here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a very good study here. Mm -hmm. But now, yes. we're like, you know, every day we're talking about all the issues that we want our university to know. For the past 14 years, same as what we had, you know, our country, we broke down most of our structure. I think you can see. Working yes, on some things. I can see that. And we stay advocating for some good things for our university to be upgraded. Okay. So the students are asking for the university yeah, to get university upgraded. Upgrade. Okay. Yes. And more facilities to be reduced yes. and also more things. Do you guys do practical here? Uh, for practical, as bad I would say no. For now, we do not have places for like practical things. Nothing like that in place for now. Okay. Like Nothing these in place are, for These are some of the things we back up. Okay. Okay, some of the things you like here is the practical, the practical equipment. Yeah. Okay, so that's one of the things you are asking your government yeah. to improve. Awesome. What's your name again? I'm Hero in F2. Okay, nice to meet you. Thank you, Eric. I like my country because one is the spirit of hospitality. It's here. The Liberia is a free and open country, irrespective of who you are, where you're from your country or nationality, Liberians are open up. Once you are willing to work with them, they are also as well willing to work with you. Here in Liberia, what we saw or what I saw if it comes to war was very deadly, very, very bad. I know what war is like. Mm. So I can never encourage war in any way, in any form. I told the children that are coming now, I mm. said war is never good because what we saw, they never saw it. Yeah. So, you know, war is such that if you read about war, you may not really know the, 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 the negative effect of it. But if you experience war, you will know the negative effect of war. So I tell anybody, war is not the right way because we suffer during the war. Yeah. I know things, food that you don't want to eat, you mm. eat it. And not only that you don't want to eat it, but you food that you know you cannot eat, but you force to eat it, but it's such that you can't even find it to eat wow. it. And then at the end of the day, you you, you, are, you, you have just drink water. Sometimes there is no water available. I remember uh, we, we were buying a cup of rice back then for 200 Liberian dollars. Now the 200 Liberian dollars were not an issue, but how do we find it? find the rice to buy. You have the money, but you don't you have, have the money. You don't have the rest. And we started to eat something called Pantaka Ball. And Pantaka Ball was something that was not eatable, but because you have to eat something, so you have to go for the... There are lots of things happen. Wow, yeah, we saw way. people die in front of us, we saw people were put in front of us. We just lots of things that we saw. So you, sure. you have to tell Africans to know more about their history, to travel to Africa. The yeah. thing is, you need to know about yourself. That is the only way where you are able to take good care of yourself. If you don't know nothing about yourself, where are you going to why are you going to learn something about someone if you don't know nothing about yourself? So you first know that you need to know I like yourself. that. <laughs> yeah, if you know yourself, then you can go and learn about someone else. So we African, we need to travel around Africa and know about Africa or know about Africans before we are able to go out there I and mean, into the outside world. What are you running for outside there? The very thing you are running, the very same thing you are running for outside there is here, and you see the people are running to coming to you, and you are running going to them, and those people who are running coming to you are people who already know about themselves. They are only coming to explore you, this but you don't know nothing about yourself. Then you want to go to them. So it is an error on our part we as African. So I encourage okay. all African to travel to African countries and other things.